Greetings Yuku, this is BJ Black and welcome to part 25 of my let's play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. So it's time for us to visit the next town, but it's not going to be as easy as that. So as the Gualacuna Castle enters into the Sandbug Ravine, on the edges of the ravine are the bunch of soldiers. This group, the Komodo Dragons, under the command of Kisnir, have started their preparations to board. So, they anticipated they'd use the valley, and here they are. Since they're going north, it's the only way. So, she starts giving orders. <laughs> so, this is a chance to clear our names. So, before they failed in their mission and gave a, a disgraceful report to their superior, but this time they're going to win and reclaim the pride of the knights. Their pride as knights. So, the castle continues to move forward in front of the Komodo Dragons. That's really a silly name for a group of knights. Sounds more like a sports team. Anyway, they set down bridges from the top in order to get infiltration. <laughs> so, Lord Gilsh's commands are to conquer the castle before it gets through the ravine. So, we have to secure it before it gets close to Rickveld City. And if anybody resists, fight them without hesitation. <laughs> In the name of Prince Gilsh. So, behind us are the people, and the people are watching us. Show your courage and bravery so that they, they can speak proudly of us. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right, move forward without fear. In this fight, we Komodo Dragons will become a heroic legend. The name of the Komodo Dragons will spread throughout the kingdom. Oh! Blah! So, time to conquer this castle with legs. So she's coming from the top and in addition to that they have cavalry on the ground. So, before they know it, the castle is surrounded. Yeah, they come. Mikeo actually tries to count them. But she says there's so many and that's just the ones they can see. Karin has a speaking part. Well, YouTube, can I get a volunteer? Anybody, anybody. I need somebody who is willing to slap a bitch. Anyway, she says these soldiers appear to be trying really hard. All right, 
time for our counterattacks. And furthermore, we've got our defensive emplacements to do. Nafia says that she's willing to fight as well. She can keep the castle walking without bumping into the walls, even while she's fighting, so... And, even if a little, they get even a little advantage out of it, she ought to be doing it, right? So, okay, you can come along. So, reminder, our goal isn't to defeat the enemies, but to withstand them. And if we can get through the ravine, they won't be able to board us as easily, and beyond that, they won't. the battle will not continue. So, let's go. Compared to before, the soldiers are of higher spirits, which basically means they're higher level. Now, in addition to our counterattacks, there's also our emplacements to set. Now, furthermore, Fia will be fighting, but if she continues to take damage, that'll be a problem for the movement of the castle. So, while protecting Fia, let's get through here. And there's a number for you. If Fia's hit points get below 30%, you lose. Now, the defenses and emplacements. Do you want to see a tutorial? No. I am your tutorial. So, winning conditions are defeating Kisnir or withstanding 10 turns. Oh yeah, I should have talked about failure conditions. One failure condition is uh, having Fia get too low on life or having all of your allies fall. But if you lose either of these bases, you also lose. This could become a problem if the AI decides to fuck with me. But I think I've got to figure it out enough that it won't be a problem. Now, this is going to be a formation that you guys are familiar with. Karin's are going to be up in front tanking, and Avaro's going to be in the back buffing our main attacker. They've succeeded in infiltrating. Alright, continue and conquer the place. Absolutely don't let it near in the Rikbel. Give no pause to your attack, blah blah blah. Our pride as the Komodo dragons, etc. Ah, uh, I forget this so often, but I need to change Karin's attack to his heavy punch and equip this long-range attack that Browning has available. Although I'm not using either of them this turn. Hmm. Kisner is coming up the center, hopefully. We're going to continue trying to capture people because it may help Ramanin's development. Hmm. 
Now Ronin's improved attack has two more squares of, di of range, but it's really slow. Oh, two more attack and two more squares of range, but it's really slow. Normally she'd be able to get three attacks, but we can't complain. Smash. Now the ideal circumstance will have Kisnir standing right in front of Kadin. Like that. I don't want to damage her too fast. Because if I get her down below maybe 20 hit points or so, she'll decide that fighting these guys isn't important and she'll try to get to our base via this route. At which point I have to rearrange my entire strategy. So I'm going to lightly tap her a bit for now. <laughs> so one last request she'd like Avaro to retreat. But we've had this conversation before. We're not giving them the castle. Because it's Fia's. Well, no surprises here. But she has her orders and she'll have to subdue us. Oh, maybe I should show you what she looks like. Heal could attack, but she actually doesn't have enough attack to get through Kisnir's defense effectively. And she takes super damage from fire element, so she's just going to sit here. Alright. Twin cat attack. Oh, let's see what Kisnir looks like. Now, like I said, I don't want to get her too low because if she loses attention and wanders off this way, it's all kinds of messed up. I'm silently praying for Kisnir to do the thing I need her to do. I don't care about you. Oh, Jesus. She didn't do it. She didn't do it! How could she not do it? Okay. This really messes things up, but... Alright. We'll have... Avaro and Ranarin will head up north. Kavi needs to get up there to defend the base once they get through that wall. And Fia will also be at the wall. Why would they do this to me? You're not important, go away. You know, until I started doing recordings, Kisnir had only wandered off that way once. This is my second take, so... That makes two out of three 
of this instance of behavior happened while I'm sitting here for this. Okay. First priority. Hmm. Yeah. Running north. You. I'm finally fear. Mm hmm. This should work. So, the resistance is more intense than she expected. And if it continues, it, they're going to get to Rick Bell. Oops. Well, that was just another order that sounded a lot like the previous orders. Hmm, we could attack. No, not really worth it. Now, let's see if we can get this archer down. She'll do a bit of damage to Mikio, but that will be fine. Karin, get in position. Run in. You get to zap those guys until they fall down. Oh, there are still enemies following me. Stand here. And Eo gets to guard the other door. This should work. Smash. No, he's out of spell points. What are you thinking, attacking a tank anyway? No, no. If Karin's out of spell points, that means that... When Kisner attacks him, he'll only have his weak attack. Huh. Sorry. Huh? Well, looks like it didn't matter anyway. You aren't important anymore. Well, free capture. Now, next turn, Kisner will pull in close. Oh yes, let's give Karin some he some spell points again. Well hell. Oops. Hit points as well. <laughs> well Ah, good. There's something useful we can do here. More tanking power, at least. Alright, start zapping around in. Good girl. Hmm. 
These guys don't pose much threat to EL. Hopefully they'll be happy to attack her instead of heading towards the other base, which is a little tiny bit open. Anyway, looks like everybody's ready. Ah, Kisner's attacking, and this time we get to use our good attack against her. This is perfect. If we can hit her. Alright. Mikeu, you're our only hope. Oh man. The buff that Avaro gave her before is worn off, so she needs to hit both times. God damn. Get better level ups next time. <laughs> but damn, I got it. And she dropped another Mastia. So she dropped another Mastia like the first time we defeated her. Anyway, far from conquering the place, we've been unable to stop their movement. So, now Avaro's going to ask her to withdraw. We're not going to give up the castle, and we're not going to hurt the town. It's already not about whether she believes that or not. The problem is whether the Komodo drag is the Komodo Dragons have received those orders not to let them near Rikvel. Well, Avaro would like to point out that she's already too late. <laughs> Alright, Kisnir. We don't want to fight. So, as much as possible... So, as... Co as uh, peacefully as possible, we'd just like to pass the town. And in any case, if they just continue this battle, it will only upset the people. <laughs> so, yeah, she'd like to repeat again that she believes Avaro and Fia won't be hurting the town. So... Even so, the order she received, she cannot rescind on her judgment alone. So, even if she's defeated, the Komodo dragons won't stop. And they'll continue to attack until they... conquer the castle. Before they get through the valley, of course. Really. But, it's too late, you see? So, that covers it for this part. And, I will see you next time.